Hi everyone, in a recent video in which we were playing around with roots and powers, we showed that minus 1 was equal to 1. Logically, something we did at some point wasn't correct, and we asked you to comment what it might be. Now we're going to explain where the problem lies, and once again, we'd like to invite your comments. Let's discover the maths. First, here's the demonstration we gave. Some of you commented that the problem was that when taking the square root, we should obtain plus and minus 1. However, when we work with the square root as a function, only the positive result is considered, otherwise we wouldn't speak of the square root function. It couldn't be a function if there were elements with two images. Remember, the square root function is defined from the non-negative integers onto the non-negative integers. So that's not the problem. If we look at the rest of the proof, it all seems correct until we apply the property that taking the power of a power, the exponents are multiplied. Is that where the problem is? If we work with positive integer exponents, there are no problems here. There are also no problems with any exponents if the bases are positive numbers or even zero. You already know that the exponential function f of x equal to a to the x works perfectly well in cases where a is greater than or equal to zero, but is different from one. when a is 1, then of course we just have a constant function. So here we have the form of the graphical representations both when a is between 0 and 1 and when it's greater than 1. What about when a is less than 0? Now we run into a problem. The exponential function when a is negative is a horrible thing. For example, if you have f of x equals minus 2 to the x, you couldn't calculate the image of a half or of a quarter and so on. It's a disaster. The fact is, the powers of a negative number and a rational exponent are not usually considered. Why? Because they're problematic. And here's the key to our question. In the case that we could work with them, having as the base a negative number and a rational exponent, the property that the power of a power multiplies the exponents is not true. If it were true, then we could arrive, as happened here, with meaningless results like minus 1 is equal to 1. In effect, you can see it as a reduction to the absurd. In mathematics, a concept is often defined for elements of certain sets and then generalized to others using that same definition. However, these generalizations are not always appropriate, as our example has shown. That's it from us, but as I mentioned, don't hesitate to leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again next time to discover more maths.